So we continue what we left with uh, security system management in the tourism sphere. Of course, whenever as a tourist, our individual needs of the present generation, it has uh, risen high. Whenever we come as a tourist, immediately, okay, uh, luxury deluxe room I need. And then uh, I need Wi-Fi. I need swimming pool. Whether I will be getting free breakfast or not. Okay. Is there uh, a tourist spot quite nearby? Whether we have a library? We have several preferences. But earlier days, we don't have any preference. We just travel from here and there. Just maybe for the sake of business. Or maybe we are a higher end girl people but now even for the middle level people also they are trying to travel okay so more and more destinations are focused on uh, focusing on the development of these leisure activities recreational spots they are giving also they are spending too much on these uh, spots so that the tourists whenever they come they will enjoy all these uh, lifestyle so just like the locals they try to enjoy the tourists also enjoy at a higher rate okay so maybe if in the case uh, when we went to Bukhara, there was one cycling event. Okay, all the night during whole night there was a cycling event. So the small events or maybe large uh, scale events like what you have uh, Navruz or maybe any such uh, celebrations, uh, the music festival. Suddenly there will be some music festival. Everybody will be going uh, like Independence Day celebration. That is also a large scale event. So maybe like uh, in the theater, Bukhara also there is a theater where they try to show the video about the history, about the uh, culture, about uh, all the stories, uh, old past stories about uh, their monuments and the places that also is there. Also with uh, regards to music as I told you, sports events, gastronomical festivals for the case of uh, safety, wellness and health. Uh, that is also they are trying to invest more so as to attract more tourists so the profile of the modern tourist is also uh, one such key factor that uh, we are going for more specialized service because modern day tourist is coming for too many things for one visit he or she is expecting many things so individual needs and preference have increased so on each uh, trip now, in the present day scenario, no longer I want to relax, no longer I want to stay in the room and then sleep. No, no, I have, I have not come here to just sleep in my room. I want to go here and there. I want to enjoy. I want to have Wi-Fi. I want to see different places. Okay, so my interests have completely changed. Okay, so we are active. We are participating in the local activities. We want to see the historical culture, uh, heritage. Also, the tour operator also should know more about the history. Okay, so that is also a concern. So, there is demand for high quality services as well. So, as social values, beliefs differ, so our priorities, our preferences are also changing and uh, of course, there is demand for the high quality services. But whenever we go for the high quality services, safety is also very, very important. So, that also you should be taken care of. So this is from the old, from Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So that was actually developed in the field of clinical psychology that was actually uh, established in the tourism sector as well. So it is was analyzing how you can explain this human behavior towards the needs, towards desires, towards requirements. Okay. So that has been supported by McGregor. Okay. So according to Maslow, there are five needs. There are five levels of human needs. One is physiological, one is safety or maybe security, one is belonging and then love, okay, and then assessment and then self esteem and then finally self satisfaction, self fulfillment or maybe completion. Physiological, security or safety, belonging, belonging and then love. Okay, assessment, assessment of the entire situation or self respect, self esteem. Because some places we come, they try to mock 
that shouldn't be self esteem should be there and then self satisfaction self fulfillment or completion so when the needs of the level are met definitely the individual will be happy okay next time i go for the summer holidays to this particular place okay they will be happy so it is very appropriate to emphasize that tourism products as well as services can meet these five levels okay maslow's hierarchy of needs so definitely this hierarchy of needs have uh, received global acceptance as well but definitely there are some weaknesses okay it stresses that it is not necessary for the individual person to satisfy these needs maybe the individual person his perspective would be little more different for example he feeds a bookworm maybe his ideas would be different maybe specific to the educational only not much into enjoy okay so people may be partially satisfied may be partially uh, dissatisfied uh, accordingly but uh, definitely uh, overall we can say okay anyhow i like this place okay maybe next time i will come with my family okay so uh, self esteem fulfillment uh, is uh, really mattering with regards to this hierarchy of needs okay so uh, as once again i'm telling you even from uh, another one example greece apart from identifying the individual needs also should address the security level measures for example in a country called greece they will be satisfying all the individual needs but political or be social unrest that part they are, they are weak at maybe the levels of security also that they are weak at okay so that also should be addressed okay so in maslow's theory some important needs are not included because they are not compatible because yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for example when we are defining rules and regulations it does not always fit into like all the procedures will not fit into these rules and regulations okay uh, because you might have a different perspective you might have come up for one such idea and this idea will not fit into these five needs let us uh, take in the case you have come just for uh, a business visit okay just for a conference so in this case you will not be expecting too much about uh, 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 what you call uh, belonging or maybe love towards other you would just come for the conference attend and maybe evening you might go okay so hierarchy of needs doesn't always fit into a personal desires right so needs maybe it may range from sovereignty maybe power maybe aggression or maybe play or maybe so on sometimes a level of aggression will be too much that uh, we tend to forget the needs okay so that is the thing. so i would like to summarize this entire thing okay this topic so tourism definitely it will be a, a very uh, important part definitely an economic part as well as far as the present generation is concerned this is what all the world countries are focusing on whenever it comes to tourism okay for example i am going to visit this country if it is going to cost 3000 dollars for 3 days i will think okay i have to i have to collect money suppose if it is going to cost only 500 dollars then very easy i can i can bring my wife i can bring my children okay i, I can identify okay this country is very cheap so economic factors really matters when it comes to tourism okay so definitely personal income also really matters when it comes to male men okay and definitely that uh, tourism will be an important factor in this supply chain okay so world the what you call to be the global village uh, does not always comes up with positive things alone negative things like crimes terrorism war every such factor also plays a vital role environmental issues like covid okay that also comes up and security issues like what we saw in greece security issues uh, threats crime also plays a vital role as we saw crime war social political unrest environmental threats everything comes uh, or maybe directly or maybe indirectly att uh, attacks or maybe is a threat to the safe and secure tourism okay so these are all the factors that might produce a decline in the arrival and then 
going and coming of this uh, tourist. Okay, so this is the uh, entire economic aspects of or uh, maybe safety aspects of this tourism. So finally, we would have like a security is a basic predisposition for prospective destination development. Okay, but of course, the stakeholders should also uh, have these factors in mind whenever you are managing the touristic activities, the virtual environment, okay, the image of the touristic destination, and of course, the the connected events, maybe local, regional, or maybe national, or maybe international events like. Uh, Navros and so on, that definitely uh, will increase or we enhance the image of the touristic destination. Once again, as I told you, we are going to present a presentation topic. Okay, so this speech would be on information technology for travel and tourism.